Welcome to your weekly UAS news update, the place where you don't get your news two weeks late. This is the week of August 8th, 2022. And I think this week we might have one of the most interesting uh, news update that we've had in quite a long time because we have a lot of really cool stories. Uh, the first one is the DJI Avada leaks. There were more information, more specs. There's even pricing and possibly a release date. We're gonna talk about Skybrass Hyper, which is a new technology from Skybrass. We're actually gonna bring uh, Jeff Clementi, who's their uh, VP of business development. He's gonna talk about this. We're also going to talk about the FA remote ID means of compliance that was finally accepted. This is kind of a big deal. We'll talk about the implications of that. We'll talk about the FA that is uh, getting a new look on the FA drone zone. Not a whole lot of new functionalities, but at least a new look. And then lastly, we have a big update on Pilot Institute courses. Uh, we've been providing you with, uh, well, lots of courses to choose from. So let's get to it. All right, the first story this week is the DJI Avada that has been leaking more than the Titanic. Uh, as always, DJI drones, when they're right about to be released, uh, they're sent to a lot of uh, different people and then eventually leaks happen. So uh, if you want all that information, you can go to dronexcel.co. Uh, Haya does a great job at kind of combining all of these leaks and providing the information. Uh, it looks like the release is gonna be imminent. Uh, some people are saying at the end of August, around the 23rd maybe, uh, that still has to be confirmed. Uh, the rumors, the, some of the specs have been rumored, that includes an 18 minute flight time. Now this would be a drone that's a, uh, a CineWoop, okay? So if you're not familiar with CineWoop, a, a bit smaller of a drone, D, an FPV drone, uh, typically flown indoors, uh, a bit more maneuverable and, and easier to fly. Uh, 18 minutes of flight time, this would have RTH return to home with a full GPS system. Uh, the weight looks like 408 grams. So if you were expecting uh, something to be category one in the United States, it's not gonna happen, unfortunately. It does have a, a ducted propeller, so it would be actually safe to fly over people, but it is not sub 250 gram uh, drone, so it's not gonna happen. Uh, it looks like it would come for, with two different types of goggles, the DJI Goggles 2 and the DJI FPV Goggles 2. Uh, it looks like the FPV model would be a little bit more bulky, like the original DJI Goggles that we saw. And then the just DJI goggles too, and I wish they would have found different names for those two because FPV goggles versus goggles is just gonna be confusing to people. But anyway, the goggles too looks like it's a bit of a smaller factor. Uh, all the specs you can find on uh, Haya's website on dronexcel.co, so I'm not gonna repeat all of those, but uh, it looks like it would also come with a motion controller. Now, some people have been saying, well, maybe it doesn't come with a real controller, and uh, I think it does. I think the, the photos that have been leaked were the photos of the combo with a motion controller, but I'm sure it's gonna come with a regular controller as well. Um, the sensor would be a one over 1.7 inch sensor that's capable of doing 4K at 60 in terms of photos, uh, of videos. And then uh, it looks like it has three different modes, the manual mode, the sport mode, and the normal mode. Uh, some people had been saying over time that uh, this drone would not have a full acro uh, mode. I think uh, that's incorrect based on that information that was leaked here. Uh, pricing also came out this week. It looks like $629 all the way to almost $1,400 depending on the type of combo that you get. Uh and then also something interesting that we've been talking about in the office, uh, wondering if this would come with an air unit. Uh, the air unit would be uh, just the the insides, if you want, of the transmission system that could be put on uh, other drones. The FPV has an air unit that you can put on other drones if you want to. Uh, it's aged pretty much, I think it's at the point now where it's definitely due for uh, a renewal. So this would make sense uh, to get an Avada air unit. And this would be about 250 to $300 for the air unit. So uh, like I said, uh, Drone Excel has all the information. We'll put link in the description. Uh, so be sure to go take a look at that. And our second story this week, we are talking about Skybrows. You have seen Skybrows before in the show. We've talked about them at length. Uh, they create awesome software that uh, captures data and makes uh, cool 3D maps with them. And who better to talk about the new software that they just released than uh, Jeff Clementi. Uh, Jeff is the VP of Business Development at Skybrows. And uh, Jeff, welcome to the show. Hey, thanks for having me. So yeah, so, Skybrows. Yeah. Tell us more. Tell us more about the software. What does uh, what does it do? What's different from the old one? And uh, and then we'll talk some more about that. So in a nutshell, um, I know we we've been leaking stuff throughout the last couple of weeks, um, and you could easily see the detail is incredible with with Hyper, um, Hyper being the new Skybrows product. So we've released DJ, we've released excuse me 
we've released Skybrow's Hyper, um, which is a, a hyper realistic version of the 3D models that we were already making. Um, the one key aspect to all that that you couldn't see from all the stuff that we'd been leaking up until this point um, was the speed. So Skybrow's has always been fast, um, but with Hyper, we're, we're actually processing models in right around two minutes or less. Um, in full 3D, high resolution, you know, the, the mechanics and the hardware that you need to process it, it's all cloud processed, so you don't need crazy computers to do it. And it's doing it incredibly fast. So it's, it's game changing as far as 3D mapping and modeling goes. So that's a separate product. So people can still get, I'm going to call it the old model, the old version. That's not really the right word, but they can also get that other product as well, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so you can still get Skybrows and you can get Skybrows Hyper. So for right now, um, we actually have a two month grace period in there. We're actually giving Hyper to everybody that signs up. Um, anybody that signs up or all of our current customers as well has access to, to Hyper. Um, you can still toggle off Hyper. So you can still look at your point clouds. So you can go basically to the old version or the new version. Um, but we are offering that new version to everybody for free for two months. Gotcha. And tell us for those of you, for those that are listening that don't know what Skybras actually does or who, who is the customer target for Skybras? Yeah. So our primary customer base is law enforcement. Um, we've also been integrated into a lot of different fire agencies, um, but public safety as a whole. So our whole goal was to, to refine how data was collected and how that data was used for stuff that police departments and fire departments are actually doing. Um, primarily accident investigation, accident reconstruction, that kind of stuff. So we're making 3D models essentially by pushing a button, the drone flies autonomously. Our software does all of the calculations from camera angle to shutter speed to aperture, all that stuff makes one video file takes that video file and processes it. Within under 10 minutes, you can actually have a full data set back to measure anything down. It's accurate down to about a centimeter, so. That's awesome. And for those of you that are watching, actually, Jeff is going to be in town in our office next week. We're going to be recording a course on how to use Skybras and, and the, the big advantages of uh, using the software, not only just recording the data, because that's actually quite the easy part, but also analyzing everything behind it and, and how you look at the data. And uh, so look forward to that. Uh, we'll be making that actually available for free to people. So if you've never used Skybras, you can download it. You can actually download a trial, I think, on your website, right? Yeah. So if you go to the Skybrows website, S-K-Y-E-B-R-O-W-S-E.com, um, if you click login, there's a little register button. As soon as you register, you get two weeks free trial. That's outstanding. Well, Jeff, we look forward to seeing you next week and we appreciate your time today. Uh, hopefully people, if you want, we'll put the link down in the description. You can go and get more information. Yeah, absolutely. Good talking to you, Greg. And the third story this week is, uh, well, quite a big one. Probably should have been story number one, but there are so many this week. Uh, the FAA finally approved a remote ID means of compliance. Now, you may have seen a lot of our videos recently talking about remote ID, how the mandate for manufacturers to create remote ID compliant drones is right around the corner, but one big, big piece of the puzzle was missing, which is the means of compliance, or MOCs. And you may have heard me talk about means of compliance in the past. This is a document that the FAA needs to approve from someone, someone needs to submit it and then get this document approved so that we have at least one. So we have uh, specs and standards that need to be met in order to get a compliant remote ID module or a compliant remote ID um, uh, inside of the drone when being, it's being manufactured. So this document finally was approved. Now, granted, we're 30 days from the mandate, which is September 16 of 2022, uh, from the, the manufacturers having to put this uh, information inside of their drone, having to put this, this technology inside of their drones. Uh, ASTM, which is one of the largest manufacturing standard company in the world submitted their, uh, well, their standard called ASTM F3586-22 uh, to be approved. And that's what came back uh, from the FAA. Now, you won't be able to see that ASTM in, unless you're uh, buying the actual document from them, from their website, but it is uh, on the federal register as of yesterday, as you're watching this. So this finally gives uh, information to the people, to the manufacturers that are going to be uh, setting out uh, remote ID solutions solutions out there and hopefully uh, help everybody meets the, the requirement to for that to be done by, uh, by the deadline of September uh, 16. So that's it. Let's move to the next story. 
Okay, next story this week. The FAA kind of surprised everyone with a new look for the drone zone. Now, if you're looking for new functionalities, uh, th there's none, not that we could see. It just looks like a refresh to the website. Uh, it looks like they've centralized some of the information, uh, made a bunch of links for people to find that information on the website. Uh, remember that the drone zone is the only, and I'm gonna emphasize on only, only place to register your drone. It's only $5. We know there is uh, quite a few schemes out there of people trying to uh, take more than five dollars and take your money to register the drone so if you're not on a website that ends in .gov when you're registering your drone uh, if you do a search for FA drone zone on Google uh, you'll see that uh, the FA drone zone doesn't come up at the top so whoever comes up at the top is not the FA drone zone that's not what you register your drone so anyway uh, the FA drone zone uh, if you'll see a little bit of a different look uh, maybe you'll get confused at first but I think it's pretty straightforward to get in and then the inside of the drone zone where you register where you uh, uh, submit your uh, all of your different uh, waivers and airspace authorization that really hasn't changed all that much. All right, and the last piece, the most important piece, is uh, Pilot Institute has been cranking out courses. Uh, now that we move into a new facility, this was kind of the plan all along was to uh, start, uh, continue creating awesome content for all of you. Uh, we released our photography videography course not too long ago. We've been making updates to it and adding content. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, you saw Vic was here a couple weeks ago uh, to record. Uh, the course is with our editing team right now. It's gonna be published pretty soon, so there will be a new update for content. And we have another new chapter in that course that's gonna be uh, recorded uh, this week. And then, oh, actually, sorry, next week as you're watching this. And then we'll be adding that content as well. So we have uh, several hours actually of content. Uh, Vic is gonna be talking about doing uh, architectural photography. Uh, he's been doing this for a very, very long time. And he's gonna be explaining uh, all of the things he's learned in, uh, well, in pretty much the last 40 years he's been doing this as a commercial uh, photographer. Uh, we also have a visual observer course that we released a couple weeks ago. This has been pretty popular. People have been asking us, how do we train visual observers? And we kind of go in here and, and do all of that. Uh, we also have a course on the FA website. We mentioned that last week, ALC 803. Uh, this is a course we recorded with our friend, uh, Sarah Nilsson. Sarah is an attorney and she's an aviation attorney. So she knows the, the back end of all this. A lot, lot of really interesting information in there. Uh, we also came up this a couple days ago with this uh, cinematic drone playbook. Uh, this is a free course where we're going to actually show you how to do basic uh, cinema drone moves and they, they're not necessarily very complicated but they're when they're combined together you can get some really really cool footage so i recommend you go take a look at that this is actually a free course so make sure that you uh, go in and enroll we'll put link in the description uh, we also came up with the matrice 300 deep dive uh, this is a new course that we recorded with billy kyle uh, you've known billy you've seen him on the show you've probably seen his youtube channel as well he came over uh, to arizona to record two deep dives uh, the matrice 300 and then also the matrice 30 uh, which is with our editing team right now. So that's gonna be released very, very soon. Uh, we also uh, released a check ride course for airplane. Uh, this was a uh, to help people that are getting ready for their check ride uh, on the airplane side of things. And then lastly, this week, we have another guest that's here filming. Uh, we'll have actually another guest the following week as well. We've been, we've been uh, well, we've been seeing a lot of people here in the new office, but Jared is here to record our mapping course, courses, I should say. Uh, we have a whole series of courses to help people learn how to map from beginners to uh, more advanced knowledge, including some LIDAR stuff in here. So uh, we are excited about this content. It's a bit more down the road, so we'll give you more information when that comes out, but uh, we're really excited. Obviously, we're not gonna stop publishing courses. This is what we do. Uh, we're gonna keep giving you education. We're gonna keep giving you free courses as well, because we do believe in uh, in in helping the community and and uh, not always charging for courses is uh, is a good thing for everyone. So. That's it. That's all I have. As always, like, subscribe, and we'll see you next week.